<laughs> As someone you know stopped attending live theater performance mm -hmm. because they just can't see the stage and feel like they, they'd really miss out on a little bit of the, of the, of the theater stuff mm -hmm. going on. Outlook Nebraska, they are now collaborating with six live theater venues right here in Omaha to provide audio description to those experiencing vision loss. Here's a video about it and then we'll meet you back here on the other side. So audio description is a way that we can let people who are blind or visually impaired come and experience the thrill of live theater by hearing with a live narrator everything that they can't see on stage. The best thing about audio description is that people who are visually impaired can now participate fully in the arts. They don't have to miss out on a great medium that really expresses our humanity. It's right there before them live like everybody else gets to experience. The audio description is supposed to fill in the gaps. Normally it's it's those nonverbal things that are going on on stage that really have a big impact in the meaning. Dark, greasy streaks spread from his lips. The red cloth comes out of his mouth. I think for me, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is just really being able to um, have all the information that my son's getting because he can see the performance, he can see everything that's happening and what everything looks like. Just being able to engage with him fully in the performance of what it looked like and, you know, what was happening. Shere Khan is crawling around the boulders. It helped a lot because, you know, from with my vision problem, I can't see everything on stage, so the things that they were describing in detail helped out. Audio description is really nice because you're not bothering your neighbors while you're at the play and, and you're just being able to go to the play like everybody else. So we got a good sense of what that is. From Outlook, Nebraska, Rachel Carver's here. Thanks, Rachel. Good to see you again. Uh, yeah, thanks yeah, for having me. Sure. Thanks for the video. I think it explains a lot of, about what audio description is, but from your perspective, um, why did you decide to take a more active role in getting this done throughout our area? So Outlook Nebraska's mission is to positively impact everyone who is blind and visually impaired. And there are studies that show that people with disabilities are a lot less likely to um, get out and enjoy a theater performance or to go out and get into the arts and culture. And this is, I mean, live theater for a lot of people it it feeds your soul mm -hmm. and we wanted to give um people who like we said were either um maybe they lost their vision and they aren't able to do this anymore or someone who's never been able to fully enjoy the live theater experience a chance to totally immerse themselves in it mm -hmm. so how do you go about signing up because you know when you're when you're here I always imagine the people who are watching who would love to know about this service they want to take advantage of it how can they sign up yeah so the service itself is free of charge and um, it's really important that you request the service in advance mm -hmm. through the box office mm -hmm. so if there is a show that you want to attend um, call the, like if it's the Orpheum or the Rose or whichever one it is, um, call the, serv the box office and request the service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're looking at right now on the screen uh, a list of performances that have audio description included already. Mm -hmm. Saturday night is one of them at Jersey Boys. Mm -hmm. Yes. We also, well, listen, there are so many of these. We've got several graphics here that kind of <laughs> spell out what's going on. And you do notice all of these different venues that um, Outlook Nebraska has partnered with to bring audio description. Um, you said that it's important ahead of time to let let them know the box office that you're coming so that they can get audio description yeah, set up. Yeah, that's just so that, because um, there is actually a live person in the audience. Mm -hmm. um, we have trained audio describers who um, actually go to the show and then they sit in the audience and are describing it. So we just want to make sure that there is someone available mm -hmm. yeah. um, for that. Expand on this. How does this work technically? Because there's somebody in the in the audience, right? And they're talking into a microphone or some sort of device that's recording this or how does it work? Yeah, so when you are listening to it, it's basically a headset with a, a receiver and all it has on it is one dial that turns it on and adjusts the volume for you. And then the person who is describing it has a it's like a little mouthpiece thing. Mm -hmm. And so they're actually able to sit in the audience and talk. 
and it's not, and the only people that are hearing it are the ones listening to it through yeah. the headset. So they're talking through a microphone, essentially. Yeah, essentially, yes. So the night of the performance, do you need to do anything special, arrive early, kind of keep anything in mind, especially for first timers? Yeah, it's good to arrive probably 30 minutes early. Um, there's a lot of times a um, pre-show that's audio described. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, so you can go in and enjoy that um, and just make sure that you have time to get your headset and find your seat um, and all of that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, all the information is on the website, <laughs> outlooknebraska.org. Uh, the theater mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. And so it has the list of times and dates for some of these shows. Mm -hmm. How do you go about working with these theaters and how responsive have the theaters been to, to do audio description? They're, um, they've been really good to work with. Um, the biggest thing, like I said, is um, you can go to that website, outlooknebraska.org slash theater, um, and that gives you a list of mm -hmm. the shows that are audio described. Um, the reason that there's a specific time is because um, the describers go to the show first and watch it, just mm -hmm. watching it so without not describing it. Yeah, they're not watching it cold right. as they're, they're trying to describe it. And That's so, so smart. Yeah, and so this gives you, um, this tells mm -hmm. you exactly when each of these shows is going to be out. We described. wanted to shine a light on the performances for 2017. That's why we've broken them out so that you can take a look here on these graphics. But as Rachel said, all of this is also detailed online on Outlook Nebraska's website. So you'll go to outlooknebraska.org slash theater. Um, but this is only one of the things they do at Outlook Nebraska. It's something that we've really become aware of in the last uh, five years here on the show, I'd say, um, in, in really appreciating the impact that Outlook Nebraska is creating in our community. And, you know, sometimes you hear the phrase, well, that they're changing lives. And maybe it, it doesn't quite fit, but I believe in this case with your organization, Rachel, it is absolutely true. Um, changing lives, enriching mm -hmm. them, it's just awesome. Thank you for being yeah. here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks, Rachel. As always. Yeah. Uh, body